We're back. We're talking about GCW, but Bill, you want to say something? I did. I thought, we were <laughs> I thought you did. Now you don't? Nope. All right. Anyway, oh, cool. this this week's review, we're actually going to watch wrestling instead of doing all the other weird gimmicks we've been doing trying to avoid this. We watched GCW's What a shitty way to start Force. watching wrestling again backyard wrestling mike you are obsessed with this show it is a tradition unlike any other which is why you forced us to watch it it happened two weeks ago i give you the floor i will make you watch this every year every now it's a tradition is, unlike any other yes i will never like it it will always be terrific it is essentially my wrestlemania my wrestle kingdom yeah what do you say you would rather go to this oh yeah 10 if times was, over if I got, if I was given the option to go to this or go to WrestleMania, easily, easily take GCW. Back. Okay, I've got a very serious question for you All right. about this. Why, why are you not? Every time I go to you, you yawning. Every time I zoom in. Sorry. Uh, what are you a Patreon member of GCW? <laughs> I am not. I am not. I feel like you need to be. <laughs> Uh, I don't watch you all sweet, their shows. You get perks. Yeah. You have any of their to, merch? No. Nope. He, he has none of their merch. This is he's not a very good supporter. He loves GCW yeah. more than anyone, but he doesn't he's not a Patreon subscriber cuz he doesn't actually like it. I love it. I love this show. I bought this show. He paid for on it. 4th of July weekend. On 4th of July night. He I told his like, family go straight to hell. I'm watching I, this. I was doing nothing else, so I was just like I'm doing this. Did you teach your uh, child, your stepchild, on how to light a table on fire? No, sadly, <laughs> this not. is a door, and this is. Oh man, so many Jesus. good doors. I had to so pause good. so many times when my my children and family came into the room when I was trying to get this done because it was three hours almost. What? Fa- who was it? What family? My kids. Like watching oh, between kids. naps. Kids are coming in. Like get out of here. Can't watch this. <laughs> Go back to bed. No, you're. Let me say this. Over the years, I've grown about how WrestleMania is entirely too long. Yeah. If you give me the choice between going to see this show live or going to NXT, Hall of Fame, WrestleMania, Raw, SmackDown. Access? Access. I would take WWE's package. That's insane. That's how bad it is. That's That's how bad it is. Wow. We are very split on this. And there is no one that appeared on camera that I look at and think, yep, I would like to hang out with that person. Not even Alex Zane? Not even Alex Zane, not even Rat Tail Kid, none of them. Rat Do you want to hang out with Rat Tail Kid? Rat I tail rat, kid. I should have found a picture of Rat Tail Kid and put him on here. Maybe uh, uh, the stunt brother. Maybe. Logan? <laughs> Logan. I mean, you can't smoke Maybe. weed with him. I mean, yeah. one, one good thing about it. If you're, if you're into the jazz cigarettes, I mean, I'm sure he has those. That's about it. Yeah. Based on his shirt. All mm. right, go ahead. Begin. Okay, so Begin. back GCW Backyard Wrestling 2020. Now, it's not in the same backyard as it was last year. It's in a, a nicer yard now. Very so nice. Who, nice. Where do they get these people? Who knows who – this is a very nice house with a very nice back backyard, traditional-looking backyard with a pool and, like, swing set, and then a very large field. Very large. So very interesting to see. I would love to know the uh, whose house it was, even though uh, who knows if I we you know who they are. So, wh- where is this? Where do they do this? An undisclosed uh, location. Is, oh, is we don't even know are. like what state. Right. Uh, New Jersey, I believe. Oh, Definitely okay. Jersey. Definitely Jersey. It could be Florida. And, and, <laughs> so, they always have kids too with like kid things, and they mm-hmm. play a role again. Yep. I've Googled multiple times GCW Rat Tail and nothing comes up. Just other Rat Tails in wrestling. So oh, we're welcomed by uh, some, a real fireworks show going off in the middle of the ring and, and scaring Joey Janela. It was going off so, so much. Uh, Janela welcomes us to Backyard Wrestling. It's a, there's an open field, there's scaffolding, trampolines. <laughs> two trampolines. Two trampolines. Why do they call it that? <laughs> because <laughs> shit holes. <laughs> because shit. <laughs> because why not? Trampoline. He gave up. He abandoned trampoline like halfway through, though. 
because Joey made fun of him. Yeah. Thankfully. There's and then the ring. The ring looks like utter shit. What the hell was that? It was just like like a duct tape foam pad. Yep. Yikes. So real good. So, so weird. and we've got the OG Kevin Gill on commentary. I can't believe you just called him the OG. The OG Kevin Gill. And then we uh, got um Emilio Sparks also. That oh, that was the other sucked. guy. That, that guy, guy, guy sucked. <laughs> We were trying to figure out his name before he came back. Emilio Sparks. Um, so in our first match was the breakout star with the, one of the breakout stars from last year's uh, GCW Backyard Wrestling, Alex Zane yeah. versus Ricky Crash, a.k.a. Ricky Shane Page. A.k.a. Alex Zane needs to quit GCW immediately and get away from <laughs> people like Ricky Shane Page. Ricky Shane him. Page is a is a well known wrestler. He's very yeah. bad. He's very uh, bad at wrestling. This match I, wasn't not great. I saw Ricky Shane Page and Tessa Blanchard have a hell of a match uh, oh, yeah? on on WrestleMania weekend at one of uh, WrestleCon shows. It was a killer match. Ricky Shane Page can go. Um, okay, so <clears throat> they both yeah. get they both have fireworks. Um, they both have fireworks okay. when they come out. Ricky comes out and just kicks his over and stomps on it. He's a bad um, boy. And I guess this is a title match, some sort of GCW title match. What title? He Ricky, has two He has two titles. Yes, and I believe one was – this was for a title. I'm not sure. Um, so Ricky immediately immediately pile dry gives a – Gives uh, Alex an apology, everything goes for a headlock. Ricky mm. gets a two count pin. Alex hits a step up Hurricane Rana, sending Ricky outside. Alex leaps from the ring through the scaffolding to the outside onto Shane. Very impressive. Um, Alex chases Ricky around a car, and then Zane does a somersault leap over this really pristine, just mwah, Plymouth neon. A yeah. real beaut. A okay, real beaut. let's stop did, here. Did we know anyone who had a Plymouth Neon? Yeah, oh, for yeah. sure. We have to have. Uh, there was probably like three three people in that group of friends from high school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so Dodge Neon. It was not Plymouth. It was a, a there's a Dodge Neon and a Plymouth Neon. Yes, both. Uh, both. This car here was a Plymouth Neon. Yes. But excuse me, and I spent a lot of time googling <laughs> was Plymouth putting out neons or was Dodge? Turns out both. Did yeah. Uh, the big Sabowski have a dad Judge Dion? No, he oh, had the uh, what was that car? The probe, the yeah, the probe, Ford, that's Ford right. Probe, the probe the running probe. on squirrel power. I learned how to drive in a Dodge, the a Dodge, Neon. yeah, somebody definitely had a Dodge. Neon. Yeah. I think Siobhan had a Dodge Neon at one mm. point. She had a minivan, didn't she? She was she had the minivan she was, first, she was driving then, a minivan for a while. I remember after, her driving us to uh, driving yeah. us to the theme park over here, Great Escape, in a giant minivan. <laughs> Come on, you dumb assholes! I'm gonna drive you up to the <laughs> Great yeah. Escape. Oh god, and Alex Zane is way too good for this fucking match. <laughs> He's <laughs> way too good. The dude yeah. can run and jump over a fucking car. Yep. Why is he still doing backyard wrestling? I know why, because it made him. But hey. Go do anything else, Alex Zane. Please do not get injured on this duct tape foam ring. And don't worry. A fucking is, dude in a Jenko jeans. This Please. Isn't, this isn't the last time we see the Dodge Neon. I mean, Plymouth Neon. Oh, right. Yeah. It's not many not times. Last. Many times over. Uh, so back in the ring, Ricky applies a nerve hold, but Zane fights out. Uh, Zane gets Ricky out of the ring and then hits a corkscrew dry, dive, then goes to the top rope and hits a moonsault that hits the edge of the ring. Um, Zane does another corkscrew flip into the in the ring onto Ricky for a two count. Ricky tries to go for a moonsault off the top, but uh, it, no, sh- Alex does a moonsault off the top, but Ricky Ricky catches him with a cutter for a two count. Alex hits a variant uh, powerbomb for a two count. Alex sets up a door on two chairs outside the ring. Uh, Zane misses a cannonball flip. Uh, and comes crashing down through the door. Ricky sets up another door on chairs. Ricky hits a pump handle, 
powerbomb off the top rope through the doors for the win. Yeah. Alex Why Anderson. the fucking fuck is what a waste. Johnny fucking giant pants beating Alex <laughs> in a match? I have no idea. Hey, geez, Alex. Uh, I mean, Ricky, Ricky Shane Page is that big of a deal? Yeah. Like I'm, I'm being. Oh my God, Bubbles jumping in. Bubbles, Bubbles is. <laughs> Bubbles making a run in. Yes. Does he look like a big cat to you? Is he big? Normal. Looks normal. Yeah. Normal. A lot of people think he's fat. Little big, but no, Maria's it, like, oh, he's huge. He's not like fat, but just like a big, oh, big tiger. A big tiger. He seems like a cat. Yeah. 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 He's a normal. Good sized cat. <laughs> you should see him today. We saw him. He was walking on top of the neighbor's fence, like a uh, like, like a squirrel. Cliff. No, like Heathcliff or something, or Garfield. Like you yeah. know, you'd see him in like a movie. Like he takes uh, a fish and suck it in his mouth and pull out the bones. <laughs> Yeah, that cat is hardcore. He goes yeah, hard. He is. He is. Um, okay, so back to this. Yeah. Yeah. So Alex Zane lost. On, on, explain. Uh, I can't explain. I can't. <laughs> I can't explain this. I can't even. Explain. How is this guy not their like top top performer? <laughs> well, I don't understand. He's, he's going to be part of their next show coming up. But if we lost, if we truly lost Ricochet to the WWE. Gremlins and Will Ospreay has played himself out of wrestling potentially. Well, uh, he'll be in New Japan. I'm he'll sure he'll be back. I'm not. I'm not that. I'm not thinking he's going to disappear. But Alex Shane is maybe third, or maybe better than both of them, and people don't realize it. Eh. We, I mean, I, jumping and leaping and spinning ability, he might be. He's, Re- he's putting on a wrestling match. I don't think so, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. I think that maybe is why last year was so good with him and Deppin is because Deppin could keep the match together. That's that's true. Yeah, Deppin is is good. I know you don't think that, but I feel like he is a he real pro best wrestler. On this show. He's the best on the show. Okay, <laughs> so next match, and that's not saying much in your books. No, no. two stars for the best match. <laughs> next. <laughs> Next match we get is Casey Quick versus my man, the Dirty Daddy, Chris Dickinson. Is that who this was? Yes. I actually looked this one up because I kept thinking I know who this is, but I cannot place it. The Dirty Daddy, Chris Dickinson, who came He's... out as Paco Loco. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was his guy. name. Yes. He was on the sandwich show that we watched, whenever yes. that was called. Yes, he is. Now, Chris Dickinson is a staple of uh, the whole East Coast rest Beyond. Yeah, beyond a lot. Terrific wrestler, just a terrific wrestler. Love, love anything. Not sure I love Paco Loco. I'll tell you that right now. Well, that's his old. You know, I like him coming in and giving. So the match starts, and Dickinson absolutely crushes Casey Quick with the meanest power bomb I've ever seen. Just and absolutely demolishes him. The, the notes that I actually took notes for the show to try to keep track of everything. The notes that I took for this match consist of Joey Janela's on commentary and he's super nervous because Casey Quick is not wearing wrist tape and cut yes. a giant gash into his yeah. fucking wrist. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Joey's like, Jesus Christ, this guy's going to die. Was it in his wrist? Because when he taped no, up, it, was it like, taped up his arm, it was like up his here. bicep. Yeah. yeah, it was like his bicep. It was also his wrist, like here, on the yeah. outside of his wrist. He's like, I can't believe this guy's in a death match without taping his wrist. Yeah. So um, Dickinson smashes some light tubes on uh, Casey quick, and then drops him through a half, a t- a half door. Hmm. Casey is bleeding a lot from his arm. Gushing. Just gushing. Chris then hits two huge cyto suplexes on Casey. Chris throws the ref out of the ring for trying to help Casey. Uh, Chris works over Casey's screwed up arm, but Casey is able to smash some light tubes on Chris. Uh, Dickinson tries to throw Casey through a table, but it doesn't break. Now, this, I believe this table, not to, this door, Refuses to break the entire match, but it doesn't break. Uh, the oh no, uh, I a real I am the door situation. Yes, uh, he gets a two count. Dickinson is absolutely covered in blood, gotcha. covered in blood. Uh, yeah. They slap each other, and then Casey is able to give a knee to the face. Casey uh, now beats up the ref for some reason. He uh, then hits an elbow drop from the top rope. 
because that Janella buries Ky- Kyrie saying on commentary talking about yeah, yeah. the chicken NXT who does the album. He also buried Casey Quick when he goes. He kind of wrestles like a shitty Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, <laughs> buries his own wrestler. Joey's amazing. Joey's the best part of the show. He is terrific. Um, he wouldn't do that like a wuss. Dickinson hits Death Valley Driver off the second rope, tries to powerbomb KC through the door again, but it doesn't break. Uh, Dickinson brings over the one of the weird structures that are just weirdly built. Um, is this KC, like the weird door tower? Yes. Or is that later? No, this is one of them. This is one of them. Uh, KC hits sliced bread for a two count. Uh, he then tries to get on the scaffolding, but Dickinson missed him and Casey falls while he's hanging off the scaffold. He misses him. Casey falls through the door structure and he kicks out of that somehow. Casey hits a Frankensteiner from the top rope to a super kick for a two count and tries again for the two count. During uh, figure four, Casey smashes Chris with some light tubes for a two count. Dickinson tries the razor's edge through the door doesn't break but it doesn't break again and he pins for KC for the uh, for the win and then he gives a just stirring 4th of July Bill Pullman-esque speech yeah. was it? because I couldn't hear what he said hard I to tell like a quarter of it what was he saying? can you something about how we have to do it together yeah, yeah come we have together to like, come together to beat the virus or something something yeah. like that um, <laughs> while covered in blood. Yes. Uh, so yeah, uh, I loved this match. I love Dirty Daddy. This Allow match. me to give this compliment to Chris Dickinson. Oh, okay. As GCW seems to go these days, he's at least a top ten wrestler in GCW. <laughs> top what, five, maybe. Top five. What maybe. a compliment that is! Wow. Oh. Uh, wow! What a compliment. That's the I can't nice wait to thing s- to say about it. You're being so nice. It's weird. So the, the next match, I didn't take wow. any. I didn't take any notes on this match because I, I is this, I this, uh, this is nasty. This nasty, nasty Leroy. Leroy. Right, let's versus, begin. Explain who the fuck Nasty Leroy is. I mean, I, we need backstory here. Yeah, give us a backstory. On okay, this. is Joey so, Janela's young boy? Kind, so trainee. I don't have Instagram. But Instagram Live is something. Yeah. What is it? So you start an Instagram Live and then people you start can, it. People can, people can join it. Join you. Yeah. And, and then you okay. Can, yeah. And so Joey started that a few months ago during the quarantine, and Nasty Leroy kept coming back, kept coming back, and people loved him. He's so then, we dance on the things, right? Yes. Yeah. You know, and then, um, so now Joey's training him. He's been down to AEW. Dynamite, he's been all over the place with them. <laughs> okay. And this is his first match against Dilf. Dilf. Dilf boy. Dilf. Dilf? Dilf boy. Who is Dilf, Dilf boy? I have, no, I have no clue. He's I, just, okay. I still have to look into it. He's just. He's is Dilf meaning dad I like to fuck? I, I think I, for him it was dick I like to fuck. Dummy? Uh, dummy. 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 Hmm. I don't know. Well, he was some sort of D I L F. He so. was a D I L F, that's for sure. Okay. All I know is I marked down here watch after the one hour mark because that's when because this is just this is just like well, imagine two guys who have trained had one day of training and yeah. we start with Dilf dropping the C word. So. Yeah. Talked about yeah. swearing on this show before we started, Bill. Yeah, he drops the C word when he comes out. And then yes. we get the the very famous what we talked about last week, Dilf falling through the playhouse. Yes, Dilf. At one point it spills into the the actual backyard of the people. We should and talk about the crowd too. It's like we yes. very weird crowd. The crowd is all wearing masks. All wearing masks. Um Not- uh, no, mostly wearing most. Masks. Most they, of them. They're social distancing very well. <laughs> kind, of, kind of close to each other. I do enjoy, and uh, some of them had sports entertainment chairs. 
which a I lot heard. of sports entertainment chairs, which come into play. Yes, sports entertainment chairs. Um, and so then, so yeah, at one point it spills out into the actual person's backyard. And Nasty Leroy, you can't see anything. All I know is Nasty no. Leroy is laying on the ground. And you see Delph try to get up on top of a, what are, the, what are those called? Playing? Like a children's yeah, playhouse. Like a, yeah, like a little playhouse. Yeah, but what brand is it? It's like. I don't know. It's one of those ones. It's like the blocks. Yeah. Those, the, the roof is one piece. Yeah. yeah. I have one. I, we have one in the yard. And he tries to stand on it and then just completely s- cannot support the weight of Dilf. <laughs> falls right Sur- through it. Surprisingly, it doesn't it can't support the weight nope. of the Dilf. Nope, the um, Dilf goes right through. Goes right through. Um any more notes? Because I did Yeah. Think. Um okay. So then it goes back the other way, back towards the ring when Dilf gets put into the Bucket of a bobcat. Yes, that's right. <laughs> that's a bobcat right. construction vehicle that's is just right. randomly sitting around <laughs> with the driver in it. Yes. And the yes. bucket's down, yes. and Dilf gets put in there by Nasty Leroy. Then Nasty Leroy, it gets better, pulls a gun. There's <laughs> an actual gun out. <laughs> holds this man in the bobcat hostage and forces him to lift the bucket up and drop Dill right on top of the Dodge. No, sorry. Plymouth Neon roof causing yes. him to lose. <laughs> Here's a question. Don't know how to answer gold. When you have a wrestler who can't walk, yeah. Nasty Leroy cannot walk. Yeah. Can you tell him Nasty Leroy? What? Looking for a serious answer. Is he a good dancer or a terrible dancer? How am I supposed to see it? I don't know. He is, it's a lot of upper body. His lower body does not seem to work. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. But he couldn't. The most difficult thing he did during the entire match was walk to the ring. That yeah. was when he had the was most trouble. Was get in the ring. And get in the ring. You're right. Oh. Uh, yeah. But they put him over so hard. Like they're, yeah. they're For some reason. I think the his, only, the only his thing theme song, Return of the Mac. Yeah. <laughs> which is great. Return okay. of the Mac, which OG Kevin Gill, I'm sorry I said that whole title there, puts over as the best wrestling entrance song of all time. And this is one instance where I say, OG Kevin Gill, I think I agree. Nailed I agree it. with one thing you said. Nailed it was bad when it first came out. It's still bad now. What, Return of the Mac? Yeah. Bad song, good entrance song. Um, so we're just we've got to work towards Nasty Leroy versus Keith Lee right that's the only place we're going here <laughs> two unstoppable forces will Nasty Leroy show up in AEW oh I <laughs> yes oh, he's gonna <laughs> he's, yeah. you could see he's in the crowd with yes. Joey occasionally yeah he's gonna be there okay so next match we get Denver Colorado out in the ring Trashing AEW. I want his, like, what's his real name? To I don't remember. Dan Cord- Cordero. T- Cordero. Cordero, yeah. Dave Cordero, something like that. Yes. Um, and he's trashing GCW and Alley Cat, the terrific Alley Cat, is the only I- woman I- in yes. GCW, I really right? Wanted to like Alley Cat. You didn't like her? I couldn't. I tried. This match was horrible. He's this match good. was the worst match of the night, maybe. It was not good. Oh, it was bad. They sat in the ring for five minutes yelling at each other. It was bad. And she did uh, the whole thing like where she was fake on commentary. And yeah, she's like, yeah. I just, I'm going to take my go, headset I gotta. off. I got I to gotta stop this. <laughs> I can't let GCW's good name be run through the mud by this fucking guy. So, uh, well, after she confronts Denver, Colorado, he, uh, they finally start to fight. Denver hits Allie with light tubes after she missed a cannonball in the corner. Denver gives Allie a Death Valley driver through two doors. Allie gives him a senton, gives a senton onto Denver while he's on a chair. Smashes light tubes over Denver's back. Allie slams uh, him onto rocks near the pool. Uh, children are in the pool. There's children in the yep. pool. Yep. And then Allie lariats Denver into the pool for the win because he gives up. 
He can't take it anymore. That Is water. That, I did not understand the finish. He just gave up. Yeah. It didn't weird. make any sense. TKO. After these, two, after these two gave those poor kids COVID. Uh, <laughs> let me. Okay. The thing I was most horrified by is that light tube dust that was all over both of them got in that pool where the children were and is definitely floating around in that pool. Forget yep. about COVID. They got light tube dust going into their skin. Um, Disgusting. I'm sure the, the, the chlorine in the pool cleared that up. Oh, yeah, you think? Yeah, oh, yeah, easily. It just melted the glass? Mm-hmm. That because that's how disgusting works. dust that's in there <laughs> went into those kids' fucking skin. It's disgusting. No, they 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 probably drank it because yeah, accidental inhalation. You know that happens. Kids mm-hmm. drink pool mm-hmm. water. Rat tail mm-hmm. kid was in there. We'll see him later. Rat t- yep, rat tail. He's definitely um, got something. So next match is is this combat kid? Yeah. Versus Tony Dad. Now, is Combat yeah. Kid the one that looks like an old man? He yep. looked super yep. old. He looks, he looks like an Amish dude. but yes. his, And all of his like old man clothes, Kevin Gill was talking about, are made of like vinyl and plastic. <laughs> yes. like, even his socks weren't really yeah. tube socks. They were yeah. plasticky. Like something new. Yeah. Very weird. Very weird. Yeah. I don't um, know what this was, but he wasn't. He would do something impressive, but then he yeah. would botch two moves in a row. Yeah. He wasn't terrible. I mean, right. for what we're talking about here, he wasn't terrible. <laughs> but Tony Deppin's the man. He's the actual real wrestler of this entire company. Yes, My favorite part of the whole show might have been Tony Deppin just walking in front of the camera. Multiple yes. times he walks in front of the hard cam, yeah. Uh, so Combat and Deppin go back and forth for a while with some moves. Uh, Deppin hits Combat with a knee while Combat is caught in the ropes. Deppin oh, Joey, hits- Joey's on commentary. He described... Uh, combat kid as an oompa loompa not from the good one from the bad tim burton one that's what he looks like uh deppin hits a cannonball dive to the outside on the combat deppin gets his head thrown into the shitty neon uh then a he- has his head smashed into the car door like i believe combat kids opens the door and smashes his head at it um Deppin gives Combat a back suplex onto the trunk of the car. Deppin hits a uh, atomic drop on the trunk. And then uh, they trade strikes back in the ring. Combat hits a crazy DDT, then back suplex for a two count. Deppin drops Combat from the ring apron to the trampoline, and Combat hits his head on the trampoline metal. Come on. Yeah, oh, yeah. Ugly. Yep. So gross. Um, Deppin hits Combat with a scoop slam onto the ground. Combat hits a Meteora from the second rope to Deppin through the door. Uh, Combat Kid hits a Sunset Bomb from the top rope for a two count. Deppin finally hits a bunch of strikes, finishing Combat Kid with a monster knee for the win. So thankfully, uh, Tony Deppin won. Bless his heart, Tony Deppin tried. He did. He tried. He sure uh, did. Joey, Joey was on commentary. He said two other funny things. He said, I'm drunk. I've had too many white, or not white claws, Trulies. So he's yeah. at Trulies this time. He goes, my commentary is so bad. I'm at Mongo levels at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Steve Mongo and Michael, our guy. And then the other thing he said that was very funny. was He's like, you can see under the ring. Because Tony Deppin was looking for a chair at one point. He couldn't find yeah. a chair because there weren't enough chairs. And he goes, our ratio of door to chair is a little out, out there. It's 42 doors to every two chairs <laughs> if you look under the ring. <laughs> we got a million doors, but no chairs. Tony Deppin can't find a chair. I thought that was funny. They kept like saying WWE and then like, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, can't, can't say that. that. Going to get sued. Yeah. Going to get sued. Uh, next match, we had Kyle Smiley versus Logan Stunt. Also, this Logan. was maybe the best match of the, like, both guys were good together. Best match. Were they? So, yeah, either guy is Tony Deppin, but I thought they were good together. I don't know. Logan comes out and uh, starts with some quick kicks. They do Mega Powers handshake for some reason. 
Of course. Um, so then uh, an ice cream man, the ice cream man song plays. Hear the song. Yep. Is that, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it? Is that it? No, that's not it. it. It's The Entertainer sure. by Scott Joplin, which is a very good song until you put it in like the high pitch beeps of the ice cream truck. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so Smiley um, just leaves the match. To leaves go to the ice cream. Goes to get ice cream, which we see ice behind Ryan. Right. Yeah. By the way, they don't have soft serve cones in an ice cream truck. Right. They have those weird character ice cream things. Yeah. I used to get the Ninja Turtle all the time. But with he comes back eyes. with with uh, actual saucers. Yeah. Right. Uh, Logan, Logan Logan smashes uh, the ice cream cone on his head after Smiley tries to hand it to him. Kyle flips out and starts yep, to carve do Logan's face with the ice cream cone. Just, just he does the uh, yeah, like the barbed bar- wire thing. <laughs> Very funny. They get on the trampoline and Smiley throws Logan into the tree. From the tree, Logan drops and hits a Hurricane Rana, then Blockbuster off the trampoline, threw a door on the ground. The, tr- uh, the, the, the tree part, was, that was pretty cool. That like was that. Yeah, easily the highest part of this match. Uh, yeah. And then yep. Logan exactly. hits uh, a, yeah. Head, a head scissors off another trampoline tossing Smiley to the ground. Smiley hits a big stalling suplex from the scaffold, scaffolding into the ring. And Smiley tosses Logan over his head into a door that doesn't break. Uh, Smiley crushes Logan with a bunch of movement, only gets a one count. Logan goes to the top of the scaffold, scaffold for a double stomp onto Smiley for one count. Then Logan goes to the top of the scaffolding again, but gets caught. Smiley then grabs him and power bombs him from the top, middle of the top rope, to the through the trampoline, and the trampoline it explodes. Breaks. Yes, it does. Yeah. I was disappointed to learn they had two trampolines. But, <laughs> but this was a scary spot. Yeah, this scary jumping yeah. from the middle of the top rope. Through a trampoline to the outside, through the trampoline. Yes. I guess I will say the maybe the only time I like commentaries in this match when they're saying how they only watch Marco, they don't watch this other dude anymore. Yeah. He's not his parents, team. Marco's yeah. parents, and Logan's parents don't give a shit about Logan. Marco's making six hundred thousand dollars, and Logan yeah. can't can't pay rent. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hilarious. We finally get to see Rat Kill Kid at this yes. point. He comes into Hard Cam View. And they kind of just ignore the match. Just talk about a tail kid for a while. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, then we get an intermission. Right. Let's talk about the cleaning of the ring, which cracked me up. Because <laughs> they keep talking about how, well... Um, they you clean know, the ring after every match. We're Lysoling and cleaning the ropes in the ring. But meanwhile, there's mud, blood, dirt, glass, and everything else on that disgusting mat. Which, yeah, which they whack. Yeah, they they try to to brush it off with like one of those push Bro- rooms yeah. that don't actually work. Meanwhile, glass is everywhere. But they're like, we're we're cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm glad you're cleaning. Good. I'm glad you guys are taking this taking this all seriously <laughs> and all this. But there's blood and dirt and glass everywhere. I don't know if you noticed that. <laughs> so when we come back from admission intermission, oh my god, we get this Van- match, Vampiro. This match sucks. Oh. What? The first I, seconds I thought this might be good, it was not. Two Pyro, Jeff Hardy, two Jeff Hardy imitations against each other. Pyro versus Dexter White. Dexter White. Yeah. They can't even tell the difference between Vampiro and Dexter no. White. OG yeah. Kevin Gill can't get right. Is uh, what's her face back on this? Alley Cat. Cat. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, so Dexter attacks right off the start. Vampir- Vampiro dodges ch- uh, chair shot with a uh, matrix kip up. Then Vampiro jumps from the top rope to the outside onto Dexter. Vampiro uses the trampoline spring to rip at Dexter's mouth. Uh, they do a Sabu tribute, but then it, of course, is ruined when Dexter smashes Vampiro with some light tubes. Rattail Kid uh, goes running. 
because at one point I think Where's the get, glass? Yes. Um, then Pyro spits fire at Dexter. He so, drinks yeah. that fucking tiki yeah. torch. Tiki shit. torch gas. So gross. And then does it was a cool spot. It was a cool spot. He held up the door to block it. Is that yeah, it the barbed yeah. wire board. Oh, the board, right. He had one of those boards. Uh, Vamp- Vampiro smashes Dexter with a light tube. Um, they go to the trampoline where Pyro does an elbow from the tree branch onto the trampoline. Pyro hits a leaping, cool too. Uh, leaping cutter from the second rope into the ring. Uh, Dexter suplexes Pyro onto the barbed wire board for a true count. Looks like it hurt. Van Pyro does a Van Terminator from the middle of the top rope across the ring to Dexter, who had light tubes and chairs leaning on him. That was solid. Uh, They both get get lifted in the Bobcat. Bobcat's back again. Bobcat's back again. They both in the, the plow of the Bobcat. This was awful. This whole sequence yeah. did not yeah. work at all. Oh, this, this, this is so awful. People don't know how to open a lighter fluid bottle. Like, <laughs> they were up there here. for what seemed like a long time to me. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that they're, 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 they're prop, they're hanging over an, the other structure, the other weird the structure. doors, two doors with two by fours going down. Yes. Um, and then Vampiro lights it on fire. Right, mm-hmm. very. He. It's funny because it takes it takes him forever to light it on fire. He can't do it, and then he finally does, and it's this little patch of fire. It's not <laughs> the whole door. Yes, it's a tiny yeah. little patch. But but, hey, he hits but, him. Dexter <laughs> slams. V- slams Dexter slams my pyro through yeah. the structure that's lit on fire, and like Dexter gets the worst of it, and it's like laying. <laughs> Right in, in fire, which in hasn't fire. gone. In. No, it is not. No, they do not knock this fire out. No. That tiny little fire ends up burning him. Yes, uh, but Dexter gets the win over Vampiro. Big win for Dexter White. I laughed yeah. because one of them was bleeding at one point, and the ref put on work gloves. Yes, like construction brown work gloves. Hey. Like I think you're missing the point. <laughs> I don't think brown work gloves are going to do it. Better than nothing, man. Than I nothing. guess. That's all we have. This was a yard full of human trash. We agree about that, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're the worst. Rachel was watching it with me for a while. She called it uh, American Trash Wrestling. I'm like, yeah. Thank you, Rachel. Yeah. You guys mm-hmm. did appreciate the uh, the social distancing and the uh, and the Lysoling and whatnot. Right. And there was one point on commentary where Kevin Gill and uh, the other guy, whoever that was, yeah. Just kind of talking to each other between the match and like, so yeah, Fourth of July, it kind of sucks this year. Country's pretty <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are correct, you guys. So the next match we get the oh my god yarders versus the yard legends, with of course oh we're almost done. With a, we hey we still need to watch. And to watch the last match. Debate of it. We're not watching that now, are we? Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Schlack. El Schlacko. <laughs> the main event. We need to watch it. I want live reactions. Did you, did you guys watch the main event? No. No. no I stopped Good. it. Good. 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 Oh, oh, right. I actually so, thought this was the main event until like I finished it, and I was like, oh, no, there is one left. I'm oh, like, you finished the whole show? No, no. I finished oh. – um, this match and then this ma- this was, was terrible more. it was just yeah. a vehicle to get mdk to beat everybody up oh fuck yeah nick gage nick gage is fucking the man fuck nick gage comes out is not so hugging nice. everyone now do you know what you want to know what happened at their first show back what happened was he mdk came out and was doing his like mosh pitting at their mm. first return show i believe it like st louis i forget where it was yeah in the middle of the country yeah and a woman tripped and bashed her head and started going into like having an epileptic oh, attack. Yeah. Yeah. And like fuck. the show was postponed for like a half hour while they dealt with it. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. But Holy she was shit. fine. 
So no, MDK is off the hook. MDK is fine. He has killed a person. No, right? he has it. No, he got. He was arrested for robbing a bank. Oh, I thought he killed somebody. No. He was arrested for robbing a bank. Yes. So. Uh, so we start off. Um, I don't know if I've got everyone's names here. Blake fights off. Uh, Doesn't lepre- matter. MDK Doesn't kills them all. Uh, Blake fights off the leprechaun and then tags in uh, Jimmy, who gets beat up. Jimmy tags in Jordan, who's an asshole, and gets dominated until they tag in uh, Nick Gage. MDK kicks the shit out of him with chops and net breaker. Psycho Joe pounces Jordan out of the ring. Psycho Joe. Lucky the Leprechaun shit. does a moonsault off the top rope onto the New Yarders. In the background, in the background, Nick Gage, you just see Nick Gage throw one of the dudes through the back of the car window. Just yep. crashes right through. Um, Psycho do- Joe does a flying punch off the trampoline onto Jordan. Uh, Nick Gage tosses someone in the pool and tries to drown them. Yep, a drowning. Uh, Blake Christian does some crazy moves. Uh, German suplexes Lucky onto the ground. Blake dives through the scaffolding onto everyone. Nick Gage comes around and starts fighting with Mayday Jack and just, oh man, there's one point where he punches him directly in the jaw. Yeah. And it is he shoots punch, shoot punches him. And it's so... he's, he's genuinely punching people out there. Yes. He just shoot punches him directly in the jaw, and it is just, oh, he collapses Mayday Jack. Uh, back in the ring, there's a bunch of cutters and stunners. Um, Matt DeMorris hits a powerbomb on Jack for a two count. Mayday goes to the, the top of the scaffold while Matt DeMorris is on the door from the ring to the trampoline. Uh, Jack dives from the top of the scaffold on the mat, eliminating him. Jordan Oliver uh, eliminates Psycho Joe with a low blow. Low blow. Lucky is eliminated after some tag team moves. We now have four on MDK. Fuck Nick. What? Because of course. Because of course. How are we going to get it? How is MDK going to get himself out of this one? He's going to shoot punch everyone in the face. <laughs> Until they um, leave. Nick uh, hurls MD, uh, Big Day over the hood of the car. Nick Gage has a bulldozer dump a bunch of light tubes onto Jimmy Lloyd. Like two bro. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Nick eliminates Mayday Jack after a pile driver onto the hood of the car. <laughs> His pile drivers are scary looking. Yes, yes. Uh, after another pile driver in the ring, MDK eliminates Jordan Oliver. Blake Christian hits a coast-to-coast on a Nick Gage for a two-count. Gage does a sit-out pile driver uh, from the second rope through a door to ca- um, for a two-count on the Blake Christian, and then but then is eliminated after a choke breaker, which looks like it hurts. And then after trading some shots with uh, with Jimmy Lloyd, MDK gets a bunch of light tubes. They trade more shots. Gage uh, smashes a bunch more light tubes onto Jimmy. Then gets a good old fishing pole and goes fishing. Fish hooks Jimmy Lloyd. Literally, Ugh. fish hooks Jimmy Lloyd's through his cheek and pulls him off the top rope. Gage hits two pile drivers for the win. Uh, a lot of no selling too at the end. Jimmy Lloyd was no selling some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Hard ass Nick. Hard ass <laughs> Nick doing hard ass things, baby. Hard ass Nick. It was um. God, painful. This, it was painful to watch. This was really something. Uh, okay, I wrote some things down. First of all, hard ass Nick, uh, OG Gill, Kevin Gill calls him, introduces him as hard ass Nick. He does not appreciate it. Nope. Nope. Uh, there's a sports entertainment hard chair fight. Nick. High fives everyone. No social distancing. Right. Hugs everybody. Sports entertainment chair fight. They talk about how Nick, if Nick Gage was in charge, there would be no Brexit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, yeah. Nick yeah. Gage. Nick Gage. Fuck Nick Gage. Are you going to order a Nick Gage cameo? Because he's, he's on cameo. Oh, like, maybe. He's on cameo. Maybe. <laughs> out, these two, out these two guys. And... 
<laughs> tell hey. them I got two guys that don't like you very much. Make me a cameo. I may. <sighs> Jesus. Uh, well, I wish I had stupid money where I could just make people just buy a million cameos. I would do it all the time. Oh yeah, easily. Waste easily. The, waste money. If I could waste money like that, I would do it all the time. So okay. now, yeah, this is the main event, right? We go to the main event. Hopefully, this doesn't get blocked on YouTube. Let's <laughs> El Schlacko. Hopefully, it does. Go up to three three hours and sixteen minutes. Because yeah. that's where yeah, we gotta clean this starts. whole mess up. If you're just tuning in, I'm sorry, you you missed the. There we go. Oh. I can hear anything as always. And how did you guys like Kevin Gill's terrific announcing, the OG? He's terrible, but it was better than last time. Is it? Because I can't hear a word he says. He speaks the truth. I have no idea where the fuck we are right now. I just got in a car and drove. Yeah, so turn anything forward. down. Fast forward until the other guys in the ring, at least. <laughs> uh, ah! Here we go. So JJ got... Escobar. What this did one... I say, guys? I was going to come back a little bit more intoxicated. Oh, yes. You definitely smell of White Claw. What's in the cup, John? No, this is uh, Coke. Is and that's right. So on? for this match, oh, have... they cleaned. Oh, shit. <laughs> For this match, they cleaned a bit more, uh, everything Coke. but the middle of the Where's ring the from that world? last match. Oh, the glass. They didn't oh, okay. touch the middle of the ring. And, so uh, we got J.J. Escobar versus the Look mysterious the All right. yeah, El yeah, Schlacko, the main event here. which I don't know who El Schlacko is. is. It's obviously not a, a neo-Nazi <laughs> Oh my god. Right. You're resting in a field and behind yeah, someone's backyard. So, right. Yeah. And Elvis, come, on. come on, come on. Yeah, fast forward all flock. Wait, oh. What's going on? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh Schlack. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's going to set a fan on fire. I would. With I wish. Terrific the aim. At the same damn time. Just terrific Two aim. Candles, Two beers. Oh, Two Roman Here candles. The, here comes the Plymouth. <laughs> this, is where, this is where I shut it off. I got this far. You got this far? Uh, I didn't you guys. This far. Yeah, it's a little choppy. I'm, I'm just watching it on. Uh, my that. computer. Okay, El Schlacko. <laughs> oh, here we go. So, JJ, AJ beating him up, him up with some kicks. I'm gonna go watch in, this. Uh, in the United States right now. Kevin Gill's over here. here. We go. I'm gonna go and watch and this. I'll be back. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> tried, obviously tried to kick oh, out the door. The yep. The window, but did it work? Do we know who this other guy is? They're no so clue. dumb, they don't know that they have to crack the window a little bit. And oh, wow, you know how to break off. windows? This it is... makes the most sense if the, if the window's cracked already. Bill Goldberg taught us this. You can just punch through it. It's fine. Oh, oh man. That Poor... side oh, man. Oh, this is not working at all. Trying it again? Trying this it again? Who this guy is? Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> Finally. Hopefully his dick ain't cut. Hopefully his dick ain't cut. <laughs> Probably is. Razor's Edge. Here we go. Oh, God. This is going to be bad. Oh, oh And that's better than hitting your head on the hood, but that did not feel good. You should book El Schlacko over Schlack because El Schlacko seems a lot stronger than Schlack usually is in the ring. <sighs> Absolutely. Wait. Now Schlacko looking to get in the... on a whole other level. I, think I don't know Schlack's what he's like looking for. Fucking, uh, Who's the, the uh, first guy that came out? That was J.J. Escobar. Escobar. Okay. The more okay. Miller lights. What is this? This happened last summer, Joey. Schlack's about to drink two goddamn beers at the same goddamn fucking time. Yeah, I blew my load with that because he came out with two giant Roman candles Can't at the get same the door damn open. time. What? Oh, yeah. it's Andy 3 on left. At the That's same the... goddamn fucking time? <laughs> I, I oh, nope. Like nope. <laughs> nope. 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 Can't figure out this Dodge Plymouth. Oh, there you go. Only if someone's plowing his wife. This Dodge Plymouth Neon. 
Oh, what that's is right. It? A weed whacker? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, God. Can you get it started? I could never get my gas weed whacker to start. Ooh. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> when you hit yourself with those little strings. Oh, yeah. That so much. It hurts so much. Oh, is the he strings. gonna weed whack his dick? His <laughs> strings aren't God. moving anymore. That is horrifying. They're moving. To the cops. And he's still no, no. Oh, low no. blow. No. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Oh man, now JJ. You know what you gotta get? You gotta get a reopen. That's the good stuff. Yeah, is that what I need? I have yes. a now. I have battery power. Battery. Oh yeah, oh, gotta have the battery. Yes. Oh, this isn't good. This is not good. Oh, on the, oh, the roof car. again. On the hood again. It's like a fucking nineties all Japan match, but with a shitty vehicle. <laughs> oh. Oh no. You can't do that. <laughs> two. Oh, this two dust. Cars. This dust ball right there. Why was that man? Just a straight the- headshot. Shout out to joining us, man, on, on Fight TV. And there's it's Dirty the Daddy in the back. Oh, elbow. Classic Rick Flair. Yeah, we appreciate elbow. you guys, man, using that hashtag GCW Backyard. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. El Schlacko just dissected El Schlacko is just a monster. Mike, can I ask you, what draws you into neo Nazis? <laughs> <laughs> so El oh, Schlacko man. getting in the car. El Schlacko. Please act in murder. <laughs> hey, doors, in. doors door. open. Oh, he's gonna open the door for him. <laughs> Let's him in. <laughs> Let's him into the door. It's a lot of beers in that front seat. What the fuck? But what's what he doing? Look, today? I said bump. Oh, El Schlacko's wow. trying to get the car going. It seems like. <laughs> oh no. Hey, get it. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> there's fireworks coming out of your car. Oh shit! <laughs> What the fuck? There's water shooting out of that car. What is? Oh, oh, oh. oh my god! Holy fuck! Uh, oh man! Oh, what a oh, Rick Flair bomb! Rick Flair flop. A firework, Rick Flair bomb. Yeah. Hey, Wally, you should have never joined this podcast. What the fuck is going you, on? You regret everything, don't you? Now. Oh well, yeah. yeah. Started off strong. You said two Roman Candles Schlecko. at the same goddamn fucking it's time. now still in the car they, they after out. JJ. Oh, oh, now the car's in motion, Joey. We no, got car he's in motion. driving oh, the my. car. No, why is this going on, dude? Oh, Schlecko oh, backing up. Schlecko. Jimmy Lloyd there. Oh, Schlecko what is he gonna do? backing the car up, telling people no. to back off. No. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Oh, no, no. <laughs> one, one more time. He almost killed that man. <laughs> that is crazy. So good. So good. Uh, People are oh changing. my god. A dirty daddy comes over just to check on him, and Schlack, Schlack isn't done yet. Schlack isn't done yet. Dude, he hit him legit like 40 miles an hour with that car. I saw his body just fly up in the air like a ragdoll upside down. Maybe 20. You know I mean? This is fucked up, man. Why am I associated with this shit? <laughs> Joey, Why when did I have Mike to get thrown off the fucking this. three years ago for this fucking Oh, product? my God. By cars. Lit on fire. Well, basically, uh, people are getting Is he on mask him now? Is he trying? No. It looks like he... Nope. Why oh, hasn't this ended yet? Slap some. From here, El Dude, Why are you punching him? You just, you just hit him with a car. Now, well, El Schlacko's <laughs> got some, that's some tape. Oh, no. Is he going to hit him again with the car? Hit him over again? Okay, no, J. Kevin Gill, right on. Oh, tape's not working so <laughs> Not enough tape. <laughs> tape's not working I, I, so I well. Like Can you say OG I, Kevin Gill, please? Lime wire. Oh my god, you got a virus and you got to see something yeah, that'll yeah, cause you to not be gonna have to tie the tape now because it just oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> nope. It's going going swimming like you better chug that wine, Bill. I'm trying. Chug that pin on a wire. And now this guy's got something. What is he gonna set him up for here, Joey? What is this? Leather bar? What is this what is this shard away doing here? <laughs> <laughs> 
were cut up and fucked up and not headbutts. We don't want to go to fucking to JJ. Uh, to it, he's yeah. just handed something. Uh, a lighter. Yeah. A lighter. Dick, dude. No, there's not. Dude, there's a <gasps> mortar. No, it's not oh, lighting. What's he so lighting? Trying to light it. What's he lighting? That might have pissed his own pants. Dude, I would. Oh, what's he lighting? JJ Escobar could light piss his own pants. Oh this. no, this is bad. <laughs> Can he light right it? Now. This, this is, is bad. Hogan bad. Can he light it? Like it? Can he light it? Oh, I can't use the lighter. Oh Can God, this is very scary. Oh, he's got to get the wind. The wind's the wind's yep. killing him. Wind's killing him. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my god! He just blew his dick off! It took 45 uh, minutes to light that mortar! But he just blew his dick off! Fucking balls flying! Oh, Slack wins. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want some fun, hey, Mike, you are the worst. You the most. And Schlack wins. Oh, Schlack up blows a dick off. With Man. Just a seamless... Like, you're worse than the people who put this on. <laughs> what? Oh <laughs> Once my again. Mike uses this podcast to promote neo Nazi. <laughs> Once again. Oh, gosh. That Jesus was horrifying. Christ. Oh, Schlacko takes his mask off. Yes, Schlacko took his mask off, sadly. Who is he without the mask? Oh, he's. Sh- oh, it turns <laughs> out he's Schlack? He's Schlack. Weird. Isn't that weird? How, and now he's fighting Nick Gage at the next thing? Yeah, yeah. That ought to be great. Oh, man. Wow, what so, yeah. a train wreck. This match ended, so the show ended with a man getting run over by yep. a Plymouth Neon and, pl- and having a uh, mortar blown off his uh, in his crotch. Yeah, mortar crotch. One via mortar crotch pinfall. Mortar crotch. Most devastating wow. finisher. We had Bobcats. We had Plymouth Neons. We had Dilfs. We had people falling through houses. We had light tube dust going into children. We had rat tails. Did I miss anything? I don't know. Door structures. Broken trampolines. Oh, good. Uh, What a show. What a show. Awful. Awful. (laughs) Cannot wait for next year. A real pool and a kiddie pool, I think. Yep. A real pool and a kiddie pool. An ice cream man. Easily in the running for event show of the year. Is this going to be on your awards That's list? Black, wherever the other one was you went to. Black uh, Crack Wrestling. Talking about talking about that, actually, someone's making a documentary about that promotion and what happened with it. That's and me. like, there's. I'll send you guys the trailer. No. And like, they they like are clearly trying to frame it like, oh, we don't know what happened. Like, I was there. I know what happened. <laughs> Maybe you should be interviewed for the documentary. Yeah. Put your name you in left, there. You left early for that one, right? I left literally like five, like three Right before left. it ended. Yeah. Because you couldn't get a thing, right? Everybody tried to leave at the same time. Yeah, everyone was trying to leave because it was fucking a joke. All right. Who's up after you? Who's up next? Wally. Oh, no, that's right. Yep. Is it Wally? Yep. Okay, Wally. It's our, anniversary, going... it's our anniversary next week, so don't let, let us down. Oh, okay. Uh, podcast we're going, anniversary. We're going to watch 1986 Highlander. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Because it starts with okay. a match, a wrestling match, mm. and Fabulous Freebirds are in it. Okay. 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 Wally, yes, this is your... Yeah. That's right. There is wrestling in this. Fabulous Freebirds are in Highlander. I've I watched I I know I watched this movie once a long time ago, so I don't really remember it. But I was looking up I was looking up movies and I saw the Fabulous Freebirds were in a movie and I was like, oh look at that. It's Highlander. Okay. 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 You brought it's on, it. It's you on did. Amazon Prime. Oh, very nice. Even better. Mm-hmm. You brought it. Wow. Yeah. Wally. better than this crap that we just watched. So. <laughs> has to be. Has to be. Okay, Highlander with the fabulous Freebirds in it. Nice. Well, yes, yes. well done. I was, I was worried it was going to be Kevin Nash. Ooh, happy birthday, <laughs> Kevin Nash. It was just his birthday. 
Oh no, I, I think I'm done with Kevin Nash. Yeah, I think we should all be done with Kevin Nash forever. No, all right. Oh, please don't. Please don't. I actually well, have a decent one lined up, I think. Does it have Kevin Nash in it? No. Does it have Kurgan in it? No. Okay. All right. It's like 98% of the things we've done this year, Kurgan or Kevin Nash things. Uh, all right. Highlander, Fabulous Rebirth next week. And next week's our anniversary. I don't know how many years it's been now. Four? So four? Too long. 15. Too long? You want to retire? <laughs> you, ready to, you ready to sign off? After that, after GCW back in, I think we just shut it down. Nothing's going to beat I, I, that. I can't argue with that. <laughs> yeah, we can't go any worse than that, so it's all, it's all done. <laughs> all right. All right, that's it. Peace out.